Hello, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your March 2019 overview reading. This is good for you if you're a sun, moon, or rising Scorpio. And while I pull these oracle cards, just go ahead and set your intention. <coughs> if there's anything you want to have come up during this reading, go ahead and ask for that to be revealed now. And... I have this month's reading really geared towards kind of like a spring theme, so I hope you guys enjoy it, all about manifestation and growth and a few other general stuff, and then we'll, we'll do a timeline as well. Okay, deep breath into the diaphragm, last one, and then I know that you guys really enjoyed me speeding up the shuffling so that's what I'm gonna do again this month and then we will get into it all right my friends let's start with the truth bomb for you Intention is everything. So that's where things start. That's where things ultimately go. So really make sure you're focusing on what your intention is for March. That's going to be super key for you to having a good month. So set your intentions. If you can do that before the month starts, that's even better. Then we have transition. This is a transition month, so don't expect anything super high speed. That might change once I start seeing what cards come up, but anytime I see a transition card, it's kind of like you're still in that cocoon space. You're still in that uh, space where you're limited, so not a bad thing at all. It's just, it is what it is. Like, it's a transition, and we always have to have those transitional periods of time. Like, each stage of whatever it is that you're going through is absolutely necessary, and the sooner you look at it as such, the easier you're going to have it. The animal for you is sea serpent. If I remember correctly... This has to do with second chakra. I, I'm not 100% um, positive about that, but it, it feels right when I'm looking at this. So focusing on sensuality is going to be really helpful, as well as the relationships that are important to you. I would also advise that you set healthy boundaries. That's going to be really important. So make sure your second chakra isn't blown open. That's really not good. I see a lot of bad stuff happen um, as far as boundaries are concerned if, you're, if your uh, second chakra isn't cleared up and closed up. So Get in touch with your senses and things that make you feel nourished and feel good and set appropriate boundaries. The word of the month is alignment. Explore energy first. Matter will follow. Find the spine. Yours or the one in the situation. Ooh, that one. Address the source and everything will fall into place. So aligning yourself however you can, that's going to be different for each and every one of you. So just focus on what whatever's missing or whatever needs to be adjusted in order for you to get the things that you're cultivating. Central energy is the devil. Ooh, I do love this devil card in this deck. It is just so pretty to me. Um vices, old habits, old behaviors, what, I mean, what is your kryptonite? You know, what are those situations and people that either bring out your shadow self? Because there's always environments and, and things that bring out the shadow self. For some people, it's like family, or if they walk into a bar, or, or maybe it's another context, like that just evokes that, um, version of you. So this is really paying attention to shadow. And we need shadow. Like, I want to be really clear. Shadow self is super important to figure out what to do with that because it always needs a seat at the table. The problem is that a lot of people want to deny the shadow self and shove it into a closet. 
but let me tell you that does not work. So let's see what the crossing energy is to get a little bit more out of this of the hanged man. So it's about the consistent behaviors. Whatever problem, whatever obstacle you have right now, like whatever is coming to mind as far as like that problem. What is that problem? The answer lies in your consistent behavior. So for relationships, for example, maybe you're having the same problems in a relationship. What you want to do is focus on your behavior and what you're bringing to the table. In that context, how are you behaving and what, what moves are you making? That's the only thing that you can control and that's the only thing you should focus on. Don't point the finger Focus back on yourself and that's where you're going to see how you are contributing to the situation. No matter what it is, like even if you're the one on like the, like let's say even if you're on the victim side, what you can take ownership to regain power, no matter the circumstance, is to take ownership over either how you react or how you handle yourself in those situations so that you can start developing more internal strength and power, right? Because that, that's what really ideally everyone wants to do for themselves. And so you're, um, the same thing would be like it at work or if you're having, it, like if you're running a business and having business issues, what are you consistently doing that could be contributing to an unsavory outcome, Anyway, I'll speak more to that. Let's see what's shifting out for you. We have the page of pentacles. So maybe you just started or initiated something or you had that intuitive hit or that idea, that inspiration. It looks like you kind of, you got that aha and then maybe a whole bunch of limiting beliefs or things that are getting in your way kind of came up to challenge you. This is an awesome opportunity because the breakthrough on the other side is being able to put to rest a lot of things that have gotten in your way in the past. And once you overcome them, it gives you the power and wherewithal to do that again and again and again. And so you're setting the tone for a completely new pattern. And what I would say is really hammer out the habits in March and that's going to open up a whole bunch of space for you to really take aligned action in the right ways. The oncoming energy is strength. Beautiful. This is also a Leo card. So uh, could be some Leos heading your way as well. Um, or if you're looking to manifest some Leos, that would be uh, good. Um, so it, it just seems like, again, the devil represents weakness. Um, it also represents temptation. And so what you're going from is like, yeah, I have that idea with the page of pentacles. I have this thing that I want to bring into reality. And then self doubt creeps in self negative self worth creeps in all of those I can't do it thoughts creep in maybe this isn't going to happen creeps in. Okay, so that is kind of the cyclone that you're in the middle of. And the only way to see this through is to start owning your part, own your side of the street, however it looks. Maybe it's sleeping in too late. Maybe your vice is just sleeping in or, you know, procrastinating or, I mean, it could be anything. But once you recognize your consistent behavior as having a major role in the the obstacles that you face and, and the things that you manifest, that's what gives you the strength up here. And that's what opens the floodgates for the miraculous solutions and, and the things you're looking to manifest. Now let's look at your environment. So this is what's going on in the external world, the external influences. We have the four of cups. So maybe you are shying away from something or you're, you might be resistant to solutions. You might be like, oh God, that sounds so awful. Like that solution just seems ridiculous. Um, let me get a little bit of clarity around the Four of Cups. Ten of Swords. So I think you're just feeling a little bit defeated or maybe out of your league or, um, yeah, just, it looks like you're just feeling defeated. Like the, you're not 
feeling 100% like yourself. And it's because you're confronting these deep, deep, deep rooted wounds. And so I would actually say don't allow an external environment to be a reflection of where you're headed because it's temporary. So just as you're going through this month, please remember that this is temporary and necessary because when you when you find healing and acceptance in the shadow self in that darkest part, that's that's when you're able to see the light. And so I think the 4 of cups is just kind of a reaction to the work that you're doing. The the 4 of cups is in the 10 of swords is more of just your perception of being down on your luck or your perception of being in a situation that's intractable or that's in gridlock. But in part, that is your own resistance. So remember that it's okay if you like, if you don't want to do anything in March and not make any moves, that's okay. Just don't expect solutions. So you can kind of keep going the way you're going for as long as you'd like. I would just recommend that if you can open yourself up a, a, little bit to maybe adjusting the way you are in circumstances or situations that might bring out a dark side of you, that is going to be the best way to navigate this. And I think the the external will shift according to your internal state. Now, the advice for manifestation. So whatever you're looking to cultivate, we have the five of cups. You have to look at what's going well. You know, these are two cups that are still standing up here. But if you're only focusing on what's spilled, it's not going to work. It's about reorienting yourself and adjusting your focus. So this would apply to like uh, abundance mindset, for example. Are you only looking at the like if you're only focusing on oncoming bills and not the income that is rolling in, that's a problem. Um, cause I would say put more emphasis on really getting clear about, oh, look at all this money that's coming in, for example, and that's what's going to help it flow easier and faster. So this is just about like shifting focus and allowing that to be part of the solution. That's one of the best things you can do for yourself this month is just like try to look at what is going well. I think that part of this has to do with the sun being in Pisces. It's naturally going to be really <laughs> it's it's for a lack of better terms like it's just going to be sensitive. Like it might be a little bit rough. And so what I'm going to encourage you to do is be try not to be hard on yourself this month that really is not going to help just look at the subtle changes that you can make the little seemingly insignificant patterns and behaviors that you can modify in order to be the best version of yourself if you can take a break in march i would do that i would take plenty of time to rest and relax and do things that are for filling your cup. That would be the most important thing for yourself this month. Let's look at what's growing for you. We have the six of swords. So there's a lot of forward movement, but I think it's the type of, it's the type of movement that is like, well, am I ever going to get to dry land? So that's part of, that's one of the things with the six of swords is like, Hmm, ha, I don't know where I'm going. I kind of feel like I'm floating out in the middle of the ocean and it's never gonna get anywhere. And that's where it's kind of like, no, it's just because it's a transition month. Like I said in the beginning, do not expect to reach dry land in this month. You have to just kind of take it for what it is. And it's a transition month. I'm gonna, sorry, a huge chunk of cards just fell out. Um, I'm going to clarify the Six of Swords to really see what is it that's growing. Two of Rods. Okay, so it's like the tarot is just not wanting to give me very much. Okay, you are moving in a direction towards whatever you've been focusing on receiving. So I hope that makes sense when I'm saying it. 
but for everybody maybe it's your money issues that you're really working on or you've been working on maybe it's intimacy maybe it's relationships but whatever that thing that you have that you've been working towards because most of us have like one or two things that we're really working on receiving and that we really 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 want to make happen and the two of rods is about that thing you're receiving or that you're in the process of receiving so whatever it is that you're looking at or you're looking towards is the very thing that you're in progress with okay and then what's abundant this month so what do you have access to plenty of? We have the world. Yes, we know there's abundant resolution. Okay, I'm going to clarify this one too. Six of pentacles. So this would be like money could easily come in from other people, other sources, unexpected areas, um, because it is like the generosity card. So that would be the first thing that's coming up um, with the world. But then this would also be reciprocity in relationships, reciprocity in um, like professional settings and circumstances. So don't limit it to to just the financial this is also in relationships equal give and take ebb and flow um that is all kind of coming together when i'm reading this i just think that part of what's happening here with the world and the six of cups is that like if you're only withholding and you're you're like not willing to put your cards on the table first then it's going to make it hard for the other person to reciprocate or the, the situation to reciprocate because you have to be willing to put it out there first and that's what can really help you. So remember how you lead and how you're stepping into the situation matters a whole hell of a lot. Um, so it's kind of like, let, okay, let's go back to the intimacy example. Let's say you're working on intimate relationships and you're you're really wanting to heal those patterns and all that stuff if you are not communicating like with a potential partner or if you're not putting yourself out there when it comes to dating or if you're just withhold 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 then it's like you're not leaving any openings for the reciprocation to take place so don't be afraid of making the first move this month when it comes to any relationship if you want that promotion you have to open it up first if you want that relationship you have to be willing to make the first move and just remember that in all forms because you have an abundance of reciprocation but you have to lead okay let's get into the timeline so if you guys are new to my channel uh hi and welcome and we have first second third and fourth quarter so that'll be where you end the month of march i say quarter because time is fluid i'm not setting a hard rigid restriction around it being one week but it's about a week it's just more fluid okay so first quarter we have the ten of pentacles focus on foundation i think this is where like your long-term plans are really being highlighted and this is where it's like okay if i want this thing what behavior is going to get me there and what behavior is going to make me veer off and and not move towards it and that's what the devil is all about highlighting that to you letting you know this is what behavior will or will not result in the desired result um or the desired outcome so you kind of get a glimpse of that at the beginning of the month then the second quarter of march we have the six of wands this is the victory card so i think things really start to pick up and go well in the second quarter, like you're able to see like a, a little shiny glimmer of what it is that's forming. You just may not be able to see each and every facet of that situation quite yet. So remember, like hang in there. And this is about working and transitioning for yourself. This is about aligning yourself and getting into the groove of what is best for you. 
third quarter we have the four of cups this is the same card that's right here this is where i think you might clam up a little bit or feel like oh no 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 that that thing i don't know i'm getting scared i'm getting worried i don't know if i can handle it so this actually looks like a little bit of insecurity coming up in either permission to receive ability to receive or um truly allowing good things that are coming into your space. So sometimes it's like that gridlock of, I want this so badly, but I'm also terrified of it. And that's what the Four of Cups is kind of showing here. So you're just going to want to look at how can you, how can you behave in a way that is allowing you to open up to receiving, even if you're scared. Like that's the thing, you can be scared and still say, okay, I'm going to receive this. So remember, it's not black and white like you're missing the boat or you're missing the train or whatever. It, it doesn't have to be like that. It's just about the awareness in where your resistance lies and how to challenge that part of yourself. And then quarter four, so this is wrapping up the month, we have the Queen of Swords. So this is, oh, this is coming back into your own mind and your own desires, like not allowing other people to define success, pleasure, happiness, anything like that for you. It's something that you have to claim for yourself and you have to define it yourself. You can't, um, yeah, it, it's just not something that having someone else tell you what it is is going to work. Okay. Another thing that I've never noticed on this card before, you see the bird? right there that's in the center um this is like the word ascension was coming up like you're really ascending by the end of the month so i think there's this is going to be a month where you're probably perceiving a lot of stagnation or a lot of more roadblocks than opportunities to to break through but remember that the obstacle is the way through it like the the challenge within yourself identifying that seeing it recognizing it, it that is how you level up you kind of have to confront these things and Pisces season is for sure bringing that your way and then by the end of the month I think you kind of have that bird's eye view you're able to see how you are leveling up in a lot of ways Okay, so now we're going to do a three card pick. You're welcome to choose a card that's calling to you or you can just pick card one, two, or three. You can pick as few or as many as you want. I really don't care what you do with this. It's just for you. Okay, card number one. We have the sun, vitality, vibrance, energy coming into your life. This is all of the... Um, like big energy, that bold burst of, oh, like you're getting your mojo back. Like that, this is something where also if you were asking a yes or no question, this is a yes, um, but it also requires your energy. So this is more about like, where is your energy going? I like to bring that up a lot because it's a good reminder. Like just focus on where it's going and that's going to be a big help. Card number two, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So enjoying the fruits of your labor, kind of all the time, effort, and energy that you've spent um, doing your thing. It's kind of like you start to see some of the rewards from that. And I think you're going to start to get a glimpse of how things are coming together. It's just that, like what I said with the Six of Swords, you're working towards it. It's just not fully manifested yet. So celebrate every small win, take everything as it comes and just show gratitude for what is showing up. Card number three, ignore the reversal. I don't re read reversals. Uh, the father of swords or the king of swords. This is like trust your information, trust the data, trust the behavior, trust the Trust the input that's happening, not other people's projections. So you have to have a strong ownership over your crown this month. That's going to be really important. Like if you're getting a lot of feedback about what you need, um, really check yourself. 
don't just buy into something because someone else is telling you what's best. It's really important for you to keep your head on straight and just be clear and grounded for yourself. Do what's best for you, not what other people is best for you. All right, Scorpio, that is all that I have for you today. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you. And until next time, have a beautiful March, and I wish you nothing but the best. Don't forget, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, go to onyxhealing.com. You can check out all of the links in the description box as well. And I do monthly love and relationship readings as well as weekly sign-specific readings. That's on my Patreon. Go check it out. The link's in the description box as well. And all of the cards that I've used are in the description box as well. So until next time, I wish you all the best, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.